Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it is the day when I'm going to talk about my favorite palettes of this year and I think I have decided I think it's sometimes so hard to like remember the whole year but I watch through my YouTube channels and which videos I've been or which palettes I've been using this year and I have some palettes here I don't even know how many they are that I'm going to talk about and I don't know if I'm going to rank them maybe maybe not but I'm also going to talk about the palette I can start with this this palette I thought was going to be one of my favorites but it hasn't been maybe I just need to use it more I don't know but it is actually the Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse. This is such a cool color story and if you know me I do really like Lunar Beauty and I thought that I was going to be head over heels for this palette but I haven't been. I did a two look swan palette with this I think. I think I did it but I haven't been like super I, I don't know what it is I think it's good I like the looks I've done with it but I actually thought that I was going to love this more so I just want to mention this maybe I just need to play with it more I don't know maybe I should do it next year we'll see but I thought I was going to love this so much more but I did not then I'm going to talk about a brand I talked about this last year when I did my favorite eyeshadow palettes but it's just it's something about these shadows and it is of course lethal I have a lot of lethal palettes and shadows and uh, I can leave my playlist up here when I did the lethal week but I thought that I can show you this palette that is velvet dusk it looks like this this were their 90s inspired grunge palette Ines is over there that's what I'm looking at. Uh, this is their 90s inspired grungy palette. It's a pre-made palette. And this I start to like now in the end of the year. But Lethal has always been a special brand to me. I just love them. And I thought that I can show you one of my absolute favorite shades from Lethal. Which is this one. This is Vertex. If I could swatch it, is it it is a shimmery green shade and I have done some amazing looks with this and it's just such a cool shade. It is absolutely my favorite shade from Lethal. I love it and it is so creamy and it's just an amazing eyeshadow. Okay, so I think I've ranked the ones that are left. So Kaleidos. Flower Punk. This palette, I did not love it that much the first time. The second time, the third time, then I started to love it. I really love how it's a grungy palette and a cute palette in both. I think this is kind of a mix for the 420 and Millennial Pinks from Melt, but this is in a good formula. And I really like this color, sorry. I know that some had like problems with it. Is it a fun bright pink palette or is it a grunge palette? I love that it is a mix. I think this is such a fun palette to play with. And these colors down here, I of course love them so much. So this I... I'm so happy that I really gave it another chance and was like, okay, I'm going to like this palette. I'm going to really, really try. And I did. Another palette that maybe I didn't give the best review, but since I did a review on this, I have used it more. Um, I have done some looks. I have not filmed the looks, but I've had them in videos. And I have been really liking this. I have also done looks just to play with this palette more and it is the Meet Me in the Underworld 
by Louis Cosmetics. And this palette, first of all, it has an amazing front of the palette and the color scheme. It is amazing as well. Bless you. Uh, this did sold out the first time. I think I ordered it on the second restock. First, like nobody know, not many know who Louis Cosmetic was. Then this palette came and people were amazed. And I wasn't amazed the first time. Then I did Free Looks 1 palette. I wasn't super amazed then, uh, but I was more amazed for each of the looks. And then I used it outside of YouTube and just been sitting down doing a makeup. And I do really, really like this palette now. Not all the shimmers are the best shimmers, but like this shimmer is amazing and this shimmer is also really good. And the mattes, I do really, really like them. So this palette, I am happy that I continue to use it even though I didn't love it because now I do really, really like it. And I think I'm going to use this a lot next year because it has some amazing shades. And I just love the whole vibe of the palette. It has everything that I like in the palette, I think. Then I have a lot of collab palettes. And I have been thinking like, okay, do I pick those palettes because they are collabs with people that I have as friends and that I followed? Maybe, but also I like their style. And I think that is also why I do like this palette that much. So next in line is Giant Wolves by Oda's Eye and Annette's Makeup Corner. And this was the first palette I've tried from Oda's Eye. And the color story of this, amazing. It's so dark and just... I love that Annette didn't put in a lot of like lighter colors. I do really love this and I really do like the shimmers and this shimmer, amazing. I did Free Looks 1 palette with this one and I just did love all the looks I did with it and my first impression, I did like it then as well. And I do really love that it is, it is a dark palette. There is, there is some light colors like this one. But it is a dark palette and I think it's just fun that it has like a theme. It has a dark theme and I am so so happy that I decided to try Odin's Eye. So happy about that I have this palette. It is just an amazing palette. And the next in line is also <laughs> a collab palette with Annette and Menagerie. And this palette... It's like the total opposite of this one. And that is one of the reasons that I really love this one. But also, this is a palette that is really easy to do looks with. And I have had a tough year. I need to stop saying that because I said it in every damn video. But I have had a rough year. And this palette has helped me to do makeup looks. I did free looks one palette with this one. And it was so easy to come up with looks. And I do love that. I love that there is a matte blue and a shimmer blue. A matte pink and like this pinkish purple that goes together with both the pink and the purple. And there is a green and shimmer and matte and these two shimmers. I do love to have a yellow shimmer that isn't a gold one. And this is just such a fun palette and I really, really did enjoy to do looks with this, my Free Looks 1 palette. It was such a fun video to do and I just think this is a really good palette. And I, Minority doesn't have my favorite formulas when it comes to eyeshadows, but I do think it's really, really good. The next Ecolab palette is like perfection. Um... I only wished one thing with this palette and that would be if it were bigger and that it's it's freaking bats with shroud and Betty bean. 
when this came out, I was like, I need to have it. And it took so, so long for me to get this palette. Like, I don't even want to know how long, but a little too long. Uh, they were getting too much more orders than they thought they were going to be. And yeah, but I got the palette and it was worth all the wait. I do love this palette. I do love Shroud. I think they do some of the best shimmer shadows out there. And this is just a compact, cute, crunchy, cool, amazing palette. I really, really love this one. I did a two looks one palette and and it's just, it's like Betty Bean in a palette and I just love it. And she inspires me so, so much. And I just, I love this palette. It has been one of the best palettes of this year, even though it, I got it last year, but whatever. Then I have two palettes left and I guess that you might know which these two palettes are and this was actually so hard to like decide which one was my favorite for this year but I think I've made my decision so the runner-up is side by side by Nabla sorry but that is just how it is this is a neutral palette that is kind of cool tone I do love this palette it is amazing I don't know how many looks I've done with this and I don't know how many times I have done the same look. I take half time in my crease, deepen it down with a beauty mark and take this on my outer half and then do a cut crease with Ray of Light. That is an amazing look. I have done it so so many times. I have also sometimes taken Burnt Sienna instead of Beauty Mark. I had it on Christmas and I do love this palette. It is an amazing neutral palette, but it is kind of fun. I don't know what it is about this palette. I do love Nabla, as I guess you know. And I do really, really love this palette, even though it's a neutral palette. But it's just something about it. I think I've used all the shades except for this one, Rarity, because I think it's too light. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know why they put it in here, but except for that, I used all the other shades and it, this is an amazing palette. And if I should recommend a palette, if you want me to recommend a palette from Nabla, I would recommend this. The formula is amazing and it's just such a nice palette. And then the best palette of this year, what I think, and I think you know which palette it is. And it is, of course, the Club Nebula palette from Kaleidos and Angelica Nyqvist. It's what I have on today. That's why I have it on today. It looks like this. This is an amazing palette. Kaleidos is one of my favorite brands. I got this in PR. This was my last PR package from Kaleidos. Don't know what happened there, but apparently I'm not on the PR list anymore. I do love this palette. I have done so many looks. I have used this so much this year and it has really made me want to do looks and it is such a good layout. The color story is so good. You have like three finished looks in each of the rows and it has helped me a lot this year when I don't know what to do and I'm just so happy that I got this palette in PR. I would have bought it if I didn't get it. And I think I think it's an amazing palette. And I think this is going to be if you know with like Kaleidos, they did a deep sea luster palette, their first palette that was like out of stock when they started to grow and it has been one of these like unicorn palettes that everybody wanted. I think this might be Kaleido's new Eurocom palette. That is just my opinion, but it is an amazing palette and I know that some are really bummed out that I didn't get it, but it's an amazing palette and it's, it is the best palette of the year. I love it. And it has just been 
an amazing palette to use. And yeah, that was actually all my favorite palettes of this year. I think I'm happy with this. I think it's just, yeah, it is so hard to know like in the end of the year what have I been loving in the beginning of the year. So, so hard. But yeah, this is what I've decided on. <laughs> I might change my mind tomorrow. Who knows? I don't know. And I think maybe next year that I will try to make, to talk about palettes a little bit more, palettes that I really like. I'm going to try to do that more often. So yeah, I have something to look, look back at maybe. But yeah, that was all for this video. I hope that you have liked it and please let me know which has been your favorite palette of this year. Has there been a palette that has changed everything for you or do you have the same favorite palette maybe as just last year? That is completely fine. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!